Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Corona Shadow Catcher material to create infinite backgrounds of any color. To learn more about all the settings, you can see my Corona Shadow Catcher tutorial in this link. We're going to start by adding our background environment. In this case, we're going to use a spherical HDRI. To do this, we're going to open the material editor by pressing this button or the M key. Then, right click in the view and select Maps, Corona, Corona Bitmap. Select the HDRI you want to use. For this example, I'm using a free studio HDRI from HDRI Heaven. I'm going to leave the link to the website in the description. In the HDRI low settings, we need to select real pizzas and then click the OK button. After this, we're going to add the HDRI to our environment map. To do this, press the A key to open the environment and effects window and then Drag and drop the Corona bitmap from the Slave Material Editor to the Environment Map and select Instance. We're going to use the Corona Interactive Rendering to adjust the HDRI rotation using the Environment section. Once we're happy with the position of the HDRI, we're going to create a plane under the object and adjust the size so it can cover the drop shadows. After this, we're going to open the Slave Material Editor and right-click the view, then select Materials Corona, Corona Shadow Catcher Material. With the plane selected, we're going to right-click the Corona Shadow Catcher Material and select Assign Material to Selection. As we're going to create an infinite solid color background, we're going to keep the projection mode with the default setting of a screen projection onto geometry. And then, we're going to click the Environment Backplate Color button and select the color you want for the background. In this example, we're going to start with a white background. We can see that the shadow catcher plane is white, but we're still able to see the HRI. To fix this, we're going to open the render setup and go to the scene tab. And under the scene environment, we need to enable the override direct visibility and change the color to the same color you have in the shadow catcher material. One of the advantages of this technique is that we can use any color for our backgrounds. For example, we can change the color of the override background to purple and we're going to copy the head color code. Then, in the Corona Shadow Catcher environment backlit color, we're going to paste the head color code. After doing this, we can see that we have created an infinite purple background. The Shadow Catcher material has some additional settings that can help us to add more detail to our images. For example, we can increase the shadow amount to any number between 0.1 to 10. The higher the number, the darker the shadows. We can also add reflection to the ground by changing the level setting to any number between 0 and 1.0. This value works in the same way as the Corona material reflection. We can also control the Fresnel IOR or even change the glossiness value. Using the Corona Shadow Catcher material, we're able to create an infinite background for any color. The process is really simple, and we can use these for product renderings, automotive, or even architectural renderings. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.